Assalamu alaikum everyone this is Dr Mahnoor Bangash welcome to my youtube channel hope you guys are doing well uh, this video is about the structure of voltage gated sodium channels so let's get started okay so the structure of sodium channel consists of two parts or it is made up of two subunits there is one alpha subunit and two or three beta subunits whereas the alpha subunit is the main functional unit of the sodium channel which is responsible for all the functions of the sodium channel so in this video we will be discussing the alpha subunit of sodium channel This diagram shows the three dimensional structure of the alpha subunit of the sodium channels. We all know that channels are made up of transmembrane proteins or the intrinsic proteins that passes all the way through the lipid bilayer and they're anchored in the lipid bilayer. So this is that transmembrane protein this is the pore or that channel or the passageway through which sodium ions move into and they move out of the cell this is selectivity filter which is the most constricted part of the sodium channel which is responsible for the property of selectivity of the sodium channels it filters out or it allows only the passage of sodium ions and it blocks the passage of other molecules or ions that try to pass through this channel this diagram shows the two dimensional structure of the alpha subunit of the sodium channel Alpha subunit is a large, it's a single polypeptide chain with 200 amino acids. And these 200 amino acids are organized in four transmembrane homologous domains. So a single alpha subunit of sodium channel uh, have like four domains. This is domain one domain 2 domain 3 and domain 4 whereas in each domain we have six subunits subunit 1 2 3 4 5 and subunit 6 whereas the rest of the domains also have the same subunits as shown in this diagram and these subunits are linked together by amino acids see these are those amino acids that is linking the subunits together and each domain is connected with another domain by these amino acids as shown here okay at one end of this polypeptide chain at the level of s1 of domain 1 we have a terminal group which is called n terminus and n here is the amino group whereas at the other end at s6 of domain 4 we have the C terminus the terminal group here is the C terminus and C is the carboxyl group and between S5 and S6 we have this loop of protein which is present in every domain yes. and this loop of protein is called P loop it has its own function which will be discussed later on 
कि दीज आर द थ्री इम्पॉर्टेंट पार्ट्स ऑफ द वोल्टेज हेटेड सोडियम चैनल एंड वी वी डिस्कसिंग ईच पार्ट सेपरेटली वी हैव अ पोर डोमेन सो वील सी वेर दिस पोर डोमेन इज प्रेजेंट इन दिस स्ट्रक्चर देर इज अ वोल्टेज सेंसिंग डोमेन विच इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल फॉर ऑल द फंक्शंस ऑफ द सोडियम चैनल and then there is a selectivity filter pore domain and the selectivity filter if we recall this diagram this is the pore or that pathway through which sodium channels is uh, sodium ions are transported and this is the selectivity filter so this segment s5 and s6 along with this p loop in each domain forms that pore and the selectivity filter of sodium channels so the pore domain between s5 and s6 also includes the selectivity filter which we know that it's the narrowest part of this pore and it makes the sodium channel selective for sodium ions only so the selectivity filter is lined by amino acids like as aspartate glutamate lysine and alanine aspartate is here in domain 1 it will be somewhere here between s5 and n6 because it forms the pore domain as well as the selectivity filter so this aspartate amino acid is in domain 1 whereas glutamate is in the domain 2 lysine in domain 3 and alanine in l4 and they collectively forms a geometrically narrowest region of this ion pore and this constriction site or the inner ring which can also be seen in this diagram the inner ring and the most constricted part is the selectivity filter the third and most important part is the voltage sensing domain the segment s4 of alpha subunit of each domain forms the voltage sensing domain and this voltage sensing domain it regulates the opening of the channel upon depolarization of the membrane and this opening is mediated by the movement of positively charged amino acids now this s4 it has collection of positive charges as shown in this diagram these positive charges are due to the large number of positively charged amino acids like arginine and lysine uh, which are positioned at every third residue within the s4 helix and this these four voltage sensing domains they are arranged around the central aqueous channel which is formed by the pore domain okay this let's say is that channel which is formed by the pore domain so these four voltage sensing domains which is the s4 so these four voltage sensing domains they are arranged around the central channel which is formed by the pore domain and and this voltage sensing domain is connected to the pore domain by an intercellular linker between the transmembrane segments s4 and s5 so let's say these are those trans membrane linkers which is linking the um voltage domain with the pore domain these are the linkers 
this is linking the voltage domain with the pole domain okay we also have an activation gate between this s4 and s6 it's this kind of a structure which will be discussed later on and this is the activation gate which is responsible for the opening and closing of the sodium channel so this was all about this topic please don't forget to like and share this video and subscribe my youtube channel thank you take care and tafis Mm-hmm. <laughs>